Thanks for joining us on this Friday night, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston. In a town that's no stranger to cultural clashes, a new church hopes to bridge the gap. New at 10, News Channel 5's Rebecca Schleicher joins us with what members are doing and how this could make a difference, Rebecca. Rory, this is a group that's trying something new in town, but they wouldn't be anywhere without a group of old timers backing the plan. Murfreesboro is home to a growing Muslim population. Local estimates show more than 1,600 people. But this Arabic house of worship in Christ is a church. There is no, is no difference. It used to be the Scenic Drive Baptist Church. You know, it finally got to the point to where you couldn't outrun the expense anymore. In May, Deacon Larry Montgomery's congregation was down to 30 members after meeting Dr. Rauf Gata as an Egyptian-born Christian pastor with a congregation looking for a home. Scenic Drive members took a vote. It was surprising, to be quite honest, uh, but uh, there was not one dissenting voice at all in the whole congregation. It was a new chapter for a church determined to keep the doors open. Services are now in English and Arabic. And while it's a change to the culture, they say there's no change to the heart of what they do. What, what their contribution to here. I don't want to erase that. I want to respect that. I want to include them in. In a town that was catapulted to the national spotlight over angry protests at a proposed mosque. Do you, do you see God's faithfulness? I do. And Ralph and Larry's friendship? It's continuing. Yes, it's a continuation God's of God's yes. work. Could That's, serve as a guiding light. It was like never skipped a beat. Don't speak Arabic? No problem. They have these with earpieces where the translation will come right to you. When I say I'm a Baptist, you know where I'm coming from, you know. It's not your typical Baptist service. It's not your typical anything. It is different kind of approach we want to take for reaching out all nations. And they hope this fresh approach to an ancient practice will change the community. God loves the whole world and even maybe the world. And that's what we're supposed to do as Christians, is to embrace all folks. The church says it's open to anyone from any background. They're actually hosting a block party in their parking lot a week from Saturday. That's to kick off their vacation Bible school.